Well, hey, this is cool. The voting gauntlet bracket for A Hero Rises is out. Poggers. Um, yeah, so if you guys haven't seen this, uh, evidently, the IS decided to do a bracket correctly this year. Um, well, in previous years, and by previous years, I mean literally last year, uh, what they ended up doing was they took uh, the 1, 2, 3, and 4 against the 5, 6, 7, and 8 in that order. So if you go back over to where we were, uh, you know, that would have put Saros against Corrin, Dragon v. Dragon. That would have put Ninja, Lin against uh, Edelgard, and so on. Um, and honestly, I kind of liked that matchup better, to be honest. Uh, it would have been nicer in terms of just diversity, I guess, in overall first round matchups. But uh, we don't get that this year. That's not what's happening. Instead, they decided to actually do this right, and they went with a uh, top seed versus bottom seed situation. So, uh, as as you recall, I'll jump back here again. Uh, our our two uh, tome ladies, well, flying tome ladies. Yeah, that's what we'll call them. Our two duo flying tome ladies. Uh, they made it in uh, barely. <laughs> I think I don't know it doesn't matter uh, but they made it in they clutched it out uh, and uh, you know we, we we were maybe better off for it I guess definitely Brian Micaiah for sure um, but unfortunately because they just squeaked in at the very end uh, that means they're going up against the top two seeds of Saros and Lynn um, so, <laughs> what does that mean? Um, basically, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that they got in, uh, banner-wise. Because <laughs> I genuinely don't see them passing, um, the first round. Like, I don't. Uh, I, I, I very much would guarantee that Saros here and uh, Ninja Lin over there, they end up getting into the semis, uh, for sure. And I, I understand, I guess, why they did it correct. Like, when, when the Hero Rises when they only came out last year, um, we were kind of confused. It was like, oh, they didn't go top seed versus bottom seed? That's, that's weird. Well, now they're, they're doing it correctly. <laughs> so everybody had a slight sigh of relief. Um, because as you, as you know, in previous videos and live streams, I've kind of walked through what the top four versus the bottom four might look like. Um, but that's not it. We're now top seed versus bottom seed, and uh, that makes things a little bit different. So um, the, the the top half of the bracket is uh, pretty upsetting. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. Um, it's it's a little upsetting. Uh, I don't have much stake in it, honestly, because I have a plus 10 Saros, I have a plus 10 Bride Nakaya, I have a plus 10 Summer Violet, and I have a plus 10 Legendary Dimitri because I was trying to get a plus 10 Saros. So, uh, you know, like I said, half of the bracket, I can't really get a whole lot of use out. I don't even need more Dimitris, man. I could make a second plus 10 Dimitri if I wanted to. I don't. I'm just giving away Odd Tempest to, like, everybody I know. Um, it's it's like uh, it, it's like a gift bag when you go to somebody's party. Remember parties? I don't either. So um, yeah, it's odd. It's a little disappointing. Um, I <laughs> for those of you who were super excited about like you know Micaiah and Byleth just kind of like getting in there and switching it up a little bit. I understand. <laughs> I know why you're upset. Um, it's it, it very much, it very very much just kind of feels like uh, there was no point in getting them in there um, because because again maybe maybe it won't happen maybe it won't happen but I'm pretty sure that it will. I don't think it's gonna matter and I wish that weren't the case but I don't think it's gonna matter. <laughs> 
I think they're going to get stomped the first round. Um, and so that, that honestly, for me, that is the most disappointing part of this bracket. Uh, the top half of the bracket makes me very, very sad. And uh, I actually put out a, sl a poll. I put out a poll for you guys. It looks like this. Bracket for Hero Rises voting gauntlet is out. How are we feeling? And I listed off the matchups because I can't post a picture with a poll. YouTube. Uh, so 20% said Pog. 26% uh, Big Yike. And uh, Bruh at 55. So that pretty much sums up my feelings as well. Like I'm kind of excited about it, but I'm the least excited about it. I'm mostly kind of like, huh. <laughs> That's my mood at the moment. Uh, just bruh, why? Um, so that's that's me m lamenting the top half of the bracket, I guess. The bottom half is a little more competitive. Um, this is uh, Freya versus Corrin. I know, I feel like a lot of people were Team Corrin and Team Freya. Like you guys were united. But now you have to fight each other. <sighs> Oops. Um, so yeah, that that is that is what it is. Uh, for what it's worth, we have basically no chance at uh, not color sharing. So uh, because of that, basically the the cost to spark while going for any focus unit is going to increase a little bit. Um, so that is what it is. I, I don't... <laughs> I will not get into this topic of conversation again. Um, but again, I don't, I don't have a lot of stake in this particular banner in general because, you know, I have somebody at plus 10 uh, in almost every corner. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter to me. Uh, I have no Saros fodder, so I guess... Maybe that's something. I also don't have any Bride Micaiah fodder. Like, Saros and Bride Micaiah were the two I was most uh, excited about secretly because of the fodder that I wanted them for. Um, but now that they're squaring off against each other, it's just like, well, what's the point? Um, so I guess I'm Team Linja at this point. <laughs> I want Linja to win, maybe? I don't know. I'm so confused. I'm so conflicted. I'm so conflicted. I Like, my ideal banner would be these these top four here. Uh, the top half of the banner, and then I just don't have to worry about anything else. Um, but that's not the case. That's not, that's not what's happening here. Uh, anyway, bottom, I keep talking about the top half, I'm sorry. So the bottom half, uh, Freya versus Corrin. Um, I mean, a lot of other colorless options, at least. Uh, and honestly, I think maybe Legendary Corrin is the... I don't want to say weakest of the colorless options that we've got. She's just different, you know? She's not really player phase offense. She's more enemy phase, uh, smack you into eternity type of unit. So, I don't know. D different, different type of play mechanic, but still good. Um, just, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'd probably, I'd probably pick Freya to win that, to be honest. Um... Yeah, I'd pick Freya to win that. And uh, then... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. It's happening. So, uh, Dimitri. Versus Edelgard. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is... Um, this is something. This is, this is a thing. This is a moment. Uh, I, I, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish I could tell you that Dimitri was going to win. Um, I don't know if that's the case, to, to be perfectly frank with you. Um, it, voting gauntlets are weird, right? Voting gauntlets are very, very strange. Uh, I feel like Dimitri is probably the best possible fit, but I have already seen little twiddlings of things about people trying to get Edelgard in the semis anyway. Uh, just to troll and I'm like hmm that doesn't seem like a great idea um, but at least even if she does get past right even if she does get past uh, I think more than likely Edelgard or uh, Linja as as unfortunate as that matchup being what it is uh, in in the first round I feel like in the second round even if Edelgard gets past Dimitri 
I don't think she's beating Linja or Summer Byleth. <laughs> I just don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, Summer Byleth has the fan service appeal. Uh, Ninja Lin has, I feel like, probably the legacy uh, appeal of anybody in this entire thing. <laughs> so, um, is that right? Yeah, Lin is literally the oldest Fire Emblem character in this in this tournament. Wow. Okay. Well, that's something, I guess. So, it, fan service or uh, legacy up against uh, Ladleguard? No, just Badleguard. Not even legendary, just Brave Badleguard. Uh, that is, um, yeah, I don't think she's getting passed. Um, the downside is that she would, of course, be part of the banner, um, which, yeah, I have, I have mixed feelings. I've got mixed feelings. They're not good feelings, but they're mixed feelings. Um, yeah, I, I don't, I don't really know what this looks like. I, I think I think ultimately what it's going to come down to is uh, Linja, Saros, Freya, and Dimitri. I think that's probably your banner, and that's a good banner. Um, it's unfortunately going to share Saros and Dimitri again. I'm having uh, Mythic Banner flashbacks already. Um, I feel like people did this to intentionally attack me, and I don't like you because of that. Uh, but then I realized, no, that's not the case, Brian. You're just taking it personally. And yes, I am taking it personally <laughs> because I went through hell trying to get my plus 10 zeros. Uh, so yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the short and the long of it, I guess. Um, it's it's going to be what it is. We'll get through it. Uh, hopefully, we don't get a free Brave Edelgard. That's literally it. Like, I hope that we don't get a free one. Like, even for new players, I'm pretty sure this... Uh, you, you can you can still pick a free Brave Houses character at this point. Like, I'm, I think that's still a new banner uh, that new accounts can access. So, uh, yeah, I, it doesn't help anybody. <laughs> like, it literally doesn't help anybody, dude. Um, but... It's whatever. It, it's going to be what it is. I hope it's somebody else. Uh, the top of the bracket makes me big sad. And that is my opinion. Uh, hey. <laughs> I put out I put out a poll earlier today. But if you have any additional feelings beyond Pog, Bruh, and Big Yike, uh, feel free to <laughs> leave them in the comment down below. Or you can just use those uh, instead. You can use any of those phrases to describe your current state. I think they're all applicable. I, I genuinely do. Uh, for me, I think what I'm going to have to do, just because, like, I genuinely, I would genuinely be fine with anybody in the top half of the bracket getting through. Like, genuinely would be fine with anybody in the top bracket getting through. I think they're all really good. I think they're all good in their own sense. Uh, I think I got to be Team Dimitri, dude. I gotta lead the charge. I have to lead the charge. I think I have to. I think I have to do it. I have to, yes. For the good of the Church of Saros, I have to join Team Dimitri. I think that's what I have to do. Um, so there's another question for you. What uh, what, what team are you joining? <laughs> what team will you be joining? Let me know in the comments. Let me know your thoughts on this bracket. Uh, at least next year, hopefully, now that IS has realized that Traditionally, brackets are top seed versus bottom seed. Uh, <laughs> we'll know what to expect better next time, right? Or, or maybe they'll just keep switching it around. Maybe we'll never know. Just so they're like, hey, it doesn't matter what people place in because RNG. I don't know. Maybe I, hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Seems fishy. <laughs> I guess we'll have to wait till next year for a conclusion. But that is it for me right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing, especially for subscribing uh and that is it for me right now thank you again till then i will catch you next time